Yo, 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 hello guys and welcome to Madden 20 Franchise Mode with your Miami Dolphins and here we are, the AFC Championship after in just our second year. Miami has done it and um, we're going, this is about to be a Florida showdown, Jacksonville coming in at 78 overall in the AFC Championship and your Miami Dolphins coming in at a 78 overall in the uh, AFC Championship. Nick Foles trying to do it again. The man goes from um, playing in Philly. He has one year in Jacksonville, does decent, has a run. It comes up short, and in his second year with Jacksonville is right back in the AFC Championship. He's really molded this team into being a contender every year. But can he do it? Can he get past that final obstacle and that is this year the Miami Dolphins we're gonna find out as he's going up against the, the deadliest secondary in the league and one of and the best cornerback in the league George Bradley but it's not just George Bradley he's gonna have to worry about he's gonna have to worry about Xavion Howard and haha -Ha Clinton Dix and Fitzy in the back so that we, we have built this defense around the secondary um, he should have a lot of time in the pocket, though. But let's take a look at Josh Rosen, the man who's thrown 33 touchdown passes, only seven interceptions this season. He is what he has been the key mark of the offense, as the run game was a little to none in the regular season. But um, they have the run game has stepped up here in the playoffs when it matters the most, especially because this guy right here, Bollage, we're gonna hand it off to him first. Try and get the um, young jitters out of the quarterback. And that is a seven-yard pickup for Miami. Early in the game, I think um, if you're Miami, you want to any of these teams, you want to start out fast because both of these teams um, have a solid defense. Um, Jacksonville, they have some pass rushers, so Rosen is going to be under pressure today. And already he's getting pressured. He gets hit, and he fumbles the ball. Jacksonville has it. And just like that, Jacksonville has the ball. What a way to start off the game. Jacksonville, you know, defense, I was just literally talking about how they're going to have pass rush on this guy, and right there it shows. And so give the ball to Nick Foles in this offense, but pressure for Miami, something we haven't really seen this year. Robert Quinn, the free agent pickup who leads this team in sacks, shows why, and I'm so glad that we, we signed this guy. It wasn't nothing major, no one's going to... You know, make a big deal out of uh, signing Robert Quinn because he's he's in his later um, years of his career. But man, he's still got it. He's that last little piece we needed. And uh, so here we go. Nick Foles later in the drive finds his. Oh my goodness! I believe that was either. I think that was his wide receiver making our defense look silly out there. Um, George Bradley. He broke George Bradley's ankles. George Bradley tries to play the ball. It's too late. And then Fitzy misses the tackle. And it's Oliver striking first. Oliver and the Jacksonville Jaguars striking first in the AFC Championship. Both of these teams know what's on the line here. And 7-0. Um, so here we go. Late, later in the first. Rosen stepping back. Finding Jasicki who's wide open down the field. Picking up the first down on second and five. Rosen's only missed one pass here today. Second and 15 later in the game and later in the same drive. Rosen gets hit as he throws it but finds his rookie wide receiver, Person, deep down the field for a 22-yard reception. First and 10, Rosen stepping back. Has time, finds Person once again. Person trying to make a move. He, he dives and he loses the ball, but luckily it goes out of bounds. So first and 10, Rosen. Going to McLeod the third, a, a, a bench wide receiver had to come out on the field, and he gets the first score of the game. He gets open. There's a reason why we kept him on the team as well. I mean, he made the cuts and he comes up big for us. So tied game later in the game, three minutes and some change in the second quarter. Jacksonville inside the red zone once again. Um, D.D. Westbrook right there with the catch. Jacksonville threatening to take the lead once again. Didn't take them long to get back down the field. Nick Foles steps back, throws it to his tight end, who is going to pick up about five. And that would make it second down and five. 
So here we go. Miami trying to bend but not break. Single back formation. Nick Foles steps back. He's going to pass it. He's got time. Throwing it and way over the head of everyone there. So third down and five. Jacksonville does not want to let this drive stall out. Come in. Two backs behind Nick Foles. It is a handoff to for, for, for Netta. Oh, and he does a spin move. I thought he was about to get in there. Holy cow, what a play by the defense. And Bradley was there, the rookie cornerback. That's what I like about him. He's not just there to, to, to be a lurker, but he can make tackles, key tackles too. Rosen now in Miami Dolphins offense later in their drive of the game, trying to score before halftime. They don't want to go down in the third quarter, you know, trailing. They want to have the lead, 10-7. to 7. 33 seconds left. Rosen trying to make something happen. Stepping back. He's got time. And he's going to leave the pocket. And he dives. Oh, dangerous there. And Miami would have to stop for a field goal as the time would run out. So 10-10 to 10 going into halftime would be our score here in the AFC Championship. Later, later in the third, Rosen finding Devontae Parker on a second and five, picking up a first down. This was a defensive quarter. And taking us all the way to the fourth now. It's a handoff to Cox. It's, Miami tries. This is the same drive. Miami trying to get into the end zone, and they would, finally, after taking a whole quarter up of no scoring for, for both of these teams, Miami would be the team to get in next, finding Person, the rookie wide receiver, getting his first, I believe, his first playoff reception for a touchdown. And now Miami would have the lead, so Nick Foles, pressure is on him. Four, four minutes and some change left. He's going to go deep, tested George Bradley. And George Bradley comes down with it. The rookie, he's going to take it to the house. Bradley, the 15, the 10, the touchdown Miami. Did not expect him to take it to the house, but wow. Didn't expect him to get the interception, let alone take it all the way to the house. And that might be the nail in the coffin for Nick Foles and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Coming up short once again this season. And Bradley's just got the speed. George Bradley is by far the, the best franchise draft pick we have ever had in Miami for a long time. The type of player we needed on this defense. Look at him. Getting it done out there, playing competitive ball, and you got to respect Nick Foles testing that side um, multiple times in this game, and Bradley actually lost a couple, especially that one where they scored the touchdown, but finally, you got to think, you keep testing George Bradley long enough, the best DB in the league, he got that award this year for best DB in the league. You keep testing him, he's going to make you regret it. So here we go, Nick Foles. Now he's gotta now he's gotta do something fit quick. And testing Bradley once again. I gotta respect that as well. I mean, after throwing a pick to him, you're gonna say, all right, I bet you can't do it twice. And he tests him. Now later in the drive, they would drive down the field, but it's met with a fourth and one going down the field, and it's caught. That time it's Bobby McCain getting beat on the play. And um, they take advantage of Bradley not being on that side trying to stay in this game you know Jacksonville ain't gonna go down without a fight so third down and four Bradley would be back out on the field going and look at that as soon as Bradley returns picking Nick Foles off a second time and that is definitely the nail in the coffin now it's over it is over look at Nick Foles walking off he's upset you know he knows that this game is done and Bradley definitely got his feet in bounds and no doubt about it. Look at this George Bradley knowing you're going to go to your top wide receiver D.D. Westbrook and he picks him off. So Miami would have to just all they would have to do here is kneel the ball down let the time run out and it is George Bradley's crushing two interceptions that make Miami Dolphins prevail. There's also a lot of good offense by Miami um, but it was Jacksonville's defense actually did pretty good this game. I don't. It would have been a lot closer if George Bradley didn't have that pick six or the interception. They came up clutch. I mean, Jacksonville was about to to score and put seven, you know, another seven on the board, make it 17 to 23, and um, George Bradley stepped up. 
If I have to give the game ball to George Bradley just because, I mean, he had a pair of interceptions that one gave us a touchdown and two stopped them from scoring. Literally, they were in the end zone when he intercepted it. So the game ball for the AFC Championship is definitely going to George Bradley, and we are going to the Super Bowl. One more game, guys. One more time. Can Miami do it? Will the drought end? One more game will give us the answer. That's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to leave you guys with the stats on the game. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And as always, I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.